Hi YouTube, I'm Iman, and this is the Hercules Angle Grinder. So we're using this to cut this post here because it's blocking uh, our path for our wheelbarrow to go through. But anyway, this Hercules Angle Grinder is used to, it's like a really heavy duty power tool used to cut things like metal. Uh, people who use angle grinders know that there are many uses, uses for them and many ways to misuse them. But I'll probably cover that in my full review of the angle grinder, which I'll be doing later, you know, uh, because right now, I don't really know much about the angle grinder. Uh, actually, you're supposed to use like a long sleeve shirt, which I don't have on right now, gloves, and a flame retardant pant. I'm not sure about jeans, but definitely not this outfit to cut angle grinder with. But I just thought I'd give it a try because my dad was cutting the post and I wanted to see how it was like. Uh, by the way, the to turn it on, you just push this thing and, and you slide it. Um, when I first used it, I didn't know that you had to push it, so I kept trying to turn it on. But eventually, it worked. And it, it, you kind of have to squeeze hard in order to get it to work. But it's really cool. So we finally cut through the, the pole. It's about a quarter inch in thickness. Uh, these are about half an inch in thickness. But this Hercules four and a half inch, seven amp small angle grinder is pretty powerful. Uh, and while my dad was cutting it, I learned out so I learned some new things about the, this grind, uh, angle grinder. Uh, first off, there's a handle for it. So I, you don't hold it like this, like a Dremel, but you hold it like this. Uh, and I, I was thinking of that, but I, I, I wasn't sure. I also found out that you can lock it. It um, to, When you turn it on, you, uh, you have to hold it. You can actually lock it like that. And I also learned that when you use this, it also wears out kind of like a Dremel. So this is the original four and a half inch disc. And this is what it looks like when we were done with it. Look at how big that difference is. It's like um, about half an inch difference in radius. And that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess one final thing we can do is uh, demonstrate just how much, can, how easy you can cut through the uh, rods. So my dad described it like you can cut it like it's butter, like a hot knife to butter. All right, uh, let's try this again. My dad was definitely right. You definitely have to wear things to keep from the sparks from hitting you, uh, like a long sleeve shirt and some gloves. And when did it, when the sparks hit you, they're actually pretty uh, actually painful. It's like when a nurse is prodding you with a needle. It's kind of like that feeling. But uh, we'll try we'll try cutting it this time. I always mess up on turning it on. Third try. Uh, this time, I actually, figure out how to uh, use it. Just like butter. Right. It looks like I learned some pretty cool things about this angle grinder. Uh, uh, some other things uh, I noted were that one, you can reverse the, the handle actually. You can put it on the other side. Another is that so you can put it on this side. Another is that where is it? Where's the, this is a tool for taking out uh, the wheels. And the reason that we take take out the wheels is that there's different kind of grinders. For example, there's this. Um, this wheel, 
that we're going to be using to on this to smooth it out. So now, as you can see, the pathway is a lot bigger. That means that we can bring in the wheelbarrow and it's not going to be as blocked. Also, this has a really cool pattern on it when you cut it. It's bit, it's really cool, you know, purple and red. I don't know. It's just really interesting to mention that. But I like doing the uh, videos on tools because, you know, I really like these tools. I really like using them. I also think that they make our life really easy. Uh, they make them easier, at least. And they, they take a lot of hassle out of life. Another thing is that a lot of people think that tools only have one use. And things like this or a hammer, they, they show you that you can really use them in more than one use. Uh, for example, we're going to use, uh, you know, in the, in the future, we're actually going to show you how to lift tree roots using our two-ton engine crane. That's going to be fun. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I've got other videos on I and Ayman. Uh, especially, keep a lookout for those tool reviews. And signing out. Peace.